hello crypto ladies and gentlemen so you've seen my video on how to find these sites and you're wondering how do i make huge gains from this site well in this video i'll show you how welcome to the crypto mario channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell and like this video broadly speaking DGN farms follow a setting pattern first the token is launched second the farm itself is launched third after a huge dip the price of the native token recovers stays like that for a while and dies finally and in this cycle there are so many ways to make money before we go on i'll show you a chart of a farming project i just did looking at the earlier the layer two of sandman finance the price dipped and then it held steady for a few days and it crashed so ideally what you want to do is to buy in here at the bottom if the project launches through a pre-sale and then farm all the way until the price starts to crash the alirum is, is a very good example because it, the farm actually lasted for a while so if we check here see that we could have farmed for eight days straight okay with um, delirium some farms don't last this long some farms after a day or two they die off but um, delirium lasted a while so just to recap first there is the pre-sale of stealth launch where the devs just add liquidity without telling anybody or fair launch where there's a set time that liquidity will be added after the token is launched there is the farm launch and after a while the project starts to die there are various ways to make money from this if the project launches through a stealth launch or a fair launch if you buy the token early you would be able to sell for a profit before the farm starts you see this huge dip with its projects that launch through fair launch or uh, stealth launch the price usually pumps this is the chart of pulling alpha as you can see once the price launched it had a very nice pump okay all the way to 3000 plus okay this happened because people are buying in in anticipation of the farm people buy in to the token so if you had bought this token at fair launch and then held on before farming start you would have made some cool money okay but the, the secret is you buy in early and then you sell before farm starts this dip you see here this was when farm started the price crashed all the way down and then there was a period of farming where the price stayed fairly stable and then now it's kind of dying out but there was a good period of farming and the first way you make money through this is by buying into fair launches or um, stealth launches with pre-sales it, it, it's usually not so guaranteed pre-sales could be hit and miss you could buy into one pre-sale and then make money like be yield on bsc recently or you could buy into another pre-sale like delirium and the price just crashes after the pre-sale because everybody's selling off it's best to buy into um, fair launches and stealth launches and sell before farming starts once farming starts the next thing you want to do is to farm non-natives first why are you farming non-natives usually the price takes a while to find its bottom by finding its bottom i mean you know an area like this where it seems like the price stops dipping and decides to reverse okay that reversal takes a while so the smart move is to farm non-native farm non-native for a while once the price finds the bottom you buy in and then you farm native usually the aprs are, ha are higher for farming native than non-natives okay and there is usually a deposit fee most sites charge four percent to farm non-natives so these are some things to put into consideration before you decide to farm i'm going to head over to a farming site now and show you how to create an lp to farm non-natives So this is polyquil.finance they are layer three and farming has already started so there is no way now to take advantage of the price movement before farming starts you know earlier in this video i said you could 
take advantage of price movement if the price pumps before farming starts you could sell for a profit that's if you buy if you had bought earlier okay but at this point we can't take advantage of that anymore because the farming has already started so i'm just going to show you how to form lps here they are called lp farms and token farms but most sites is going to be farms and pools depending on the site each developer with how they decide to design their uis but basically lps have to deal with um liquidity pairs while pools have to deal with taking single tokens so if we scroll down we'll be able to see the lp farms that they have let's get usdc that's level layer two this is squid usdc layer one and this is rapmatic usdc and usdc usdt okay so first if we're going to stick in non-native we would have to go with um rapmatic usdc or usdc usdt as I told you earlier, there's going to be a deposit fee of 4% in most of these sites. We can check the APR here. As you can see, we'll be getting 2.45% a day. What that means is that in order for us to break even, in order for us to get a 4% deposit fee back, we need the price of the native token to hold for at least two days. So if we're going with $100 and then we've paid a 4% deposit fee of $4, we need the price to stay stable for the next two days for us to make back uh, the money we invested. In two days, we are looking at 4.9%. 4.9% is $4.90. So we would have made our $4 back plus $0.90 cents in the native token. So if we sell that off, we'll be able to recoup our deposit fee. Let me say that you have to make sure you are going for legit and sound projects. With some projects, you will never get back a deposit fee. The price of a native token will crash so quickly that you would not be able to get back your 4%. Okay. You have to know that with the non-native pools, they are usually they usually have the most amount. This for example has 191k already staked here okay but if you check the native you would see that it has less for that reason the aprs of the non-native are usually lesser than the aprs of the native as you can see here we have 97k okay so people will stake more so if you are going to stake in non-native at the beginning of the farm make sure that it's a project that would run for at least two days Okay, that means they have a good team, probably their KYC, as they spend some money on marketing to get people to know about their farms, you know, so you can make your money back. I'm going to stick here. The first thing you want to do is to approve the contract. Okay. You would say stick and harvest. Now, in order for us to stick a Rapmatic USDC LP, we need equal amount of rapmatic and usdc okay so what we want to do is to head over to quick swap um get some rapmatic get some usdc and then we can come back here to form the lp so we're going to select usdc here and then let's say we do ferry swap Since we need equal amounts of wrapped matic and usdc we'll also change thermatic to wrapped matic once we have our wrapped matic and usdc the quickest way to get the lp link is to click on wrapped matic usdc lp it's going to redirect you to quick swap to a page where you can add liquidity click on max and then we approve both tokens
Once you approve, you click on supply. Once you add the USDC and Rapmatic, you head over back to Polyquill and now you can stick here. Once the transaction is done, you have sticked successfully in Polyquill. A few moments later. If the project does not have a harvest lockup, you could harvest anytime you like by clicking on this harvest button. And at the end of the day, once you want to break up your LP, you can click on this minus sign, click max and confirm. So we head over to QuickSwap to look for our LP. So after withdrawing our LP tokens, we are back to QuickSwap to split it up. Okay. So in QuickSwap, you want to click on pool at the top. And normally, your LP should show up here. If it doesn't, you could try by clicking on import. Select the two tokens that form your LP. In my case, Raptomatic and USDC. Despite the fact that we have our LP here, you could get a screen similar to this. If this happens, don't panic. You could still get your LPs either by using a PC or by connecting your Chrome browser to your wallet. I'm going to be connecting the Chrome browser to my wallet so you see how that is done. So this is the normal Chrome browser and this is the QuickSwap Exchange website. So you click on connect to your wallet at the bottom select wallet connect and then decide to open it with trust wallet so it's going to ask you to connect once you connect you return back to the site as you can see we're connected here on chrome and we go to pool and as you can see our lp has shown up so we'll click on manage remove max here because we don't leave anything behind approve And remove so now we have our Matic and USDC separated we just have to wait for a transaction to go through so we've successfully removed our Rapmatic and USDC as you can see in the next video, I'll be showing you how to form native LPs and also be sharing some strategies with you. So if you haven't, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to like this video. This is Crypto Mario signing out. Let's get those crypto coins. Stay safe.